Hi guys, welcome back to another Windsor Academy guide. I'm James. Um, I lead the guild Bad Omen together with my wife Solemnus. Hi. Right, so um, this is going to be the Octopus Cave guide. Now, Octopus Cave is not that high level, so if and it's quite fast, so if you only have a few minutes to spare, you might want to consider doing it. Or if you're just low level, or if you're just having fun, really. Now, sorry. Um, let's see here. Just I'm not misinforming anyone. It doesn't really say that there is a. Uh, it's only a three-hour cooldown, and it doesn't appear to be any level requirement in order to enter. Um, having said that, the gear you should be bringing, you need a water armor, one of these, swordfish card. Now, obviously you don't have to use a hero trade mail, you can use whatever you fancy. Um, if you have a deviling, do not under any circumstances use it, because, well, it will amplify the damage you take. Now, since it's a boss protocol, we'll be using Royal Guard Ally Shield to reduce damage taken. So, let's just get to it. Um, obviously, since it's an octopus, it's going to be weak to wind, so make sure you bring some wind converters like this, for example. Okay. So, how do we get there? Well, I'm glad you asked, young grasshopper. You can use this Malang SP can. So, since I'm not going to be bothered running, I'm just going to click one of these. Otherwise, Actually, I'm just going to show you what you can do otherwise, if you don't have one. Now, if you've never been to Malango before, it's on the Malango Island, you can talk to this cat right here. Called... Dolagmalia something. Take me to Malango again. Now, he's not going to do it since I've done it before, but, you know, don't despair, there is another way. Not this one, sorry. So, if you've been there once, but you don't have a can and you want to go back, Talk to the Kafra and then you go to Islud. Islud, Islud. Ah, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's called Is. Right. And you run up here like you would be going to the Bioland Island. There's gonna be a little cat that's sleeping here, and you know, like waking up cats is fun. So you talk to this guy right here. His name is. something. I can't even read it, the font's too small, but anyway. You can talk to him, meow. And then for a thousand seni, he will warp you to the heaven of Cat Malangu. Let's go, Malangu. Now, in order to get to the octopus cave... Now, I, I highly suggest having the music on here because it is really funny. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. If you've been here before, you might be familiar with it. It's where the Malangu fishing festival takes place, and it's where you can enchant some weapons. And... Right, so... Look on the map, as you can see, in the paws there are dungeons. And that one is the one for Malangu sewers, and then the first one is the one we're gonna go into. So if you go up to the left here. Oops, apparently we just killed a quick shadow. So this doesn't look like a path, but it actually is. So, as you can see here, there's a little hole in the ground thing. So you just go in. Now this isn't the instance directly, but you enter this other dungeon, right? So you just you go right. For some reason I'm having some strange frame lag. So sorry about that. Should be better. Yeah. Okay. Now there are some mobs down here. I've read the rumors and you know some whatever the hell that is, Sivorava and yeah, there's some stuff. So we go up here, you see in the middle. Yeah. There's already somebody here, Cyberklinger, from the guild. Hello! <laughs> right, whenever his thingy moves, we can actually see something. Right, so anyway. Now, there's a starfish standing here looking very... Um, I'm not really sure what you want to call it, but yeah. It's a weird entrance in the starfish. Now, if you click on entrance, nothing really... If you go in, nothing happens. But if you talk to the starfish... And you go, ask what's going on, ask to open gate, let's ask to open gate. An octopus cave, standby, see? And then once that thing, then it will let us in here. So you can see on the map. So we go top left in Malango, and then we end up here. And then you go to the middle of this, top middle of this dungeon here. Now, keep your aqua armor on. I'm just using some, I'm not going to say basic, but you know, it's a rideward hat, it's a Thanatos hammer, Alice shield. 
it's nothing super expensive. I mean, it's not super cheap either, but I'm using a GSS that you can find for free. Some hero rings. Okay, not that standard, I guess. But the point is, you don't need MVP cards and God likes to do this, obviously. Uh, a water armor and maybe an ally shield and get a Thanatos weapon or something. You should be okay, I guess. And I have painkiller as well, just to... Now, I could do this with a two-hander as well, but... Uh, rather not waste my Stella fruit, to be honest. So, we just have to wait. And priority queue. There we go. Now, let's just buff up. Let's use some buff. Yeah, I love using buff foods, by the way, because I love to be insta-cast. Now, if you're not, that's completely fine, too. Tonic. And that puts us at insta-cast. This is just perfect, anyway. Right. So, we enter. It's a weird entrance. Go in. Now, this is where some people get a little bit puzzled, because when you enter... As you can see. Right, okay, so... Imagine that this is where you enter, right? And then you have three portals, and you have two portals. Now, pervert octopus, what the... Right, um, the side ones we need to do first. So let's just name them... I don't know, let's name them one, two, three, four, right? Ignore the middle one there, okay? Because that one is for the last one. So let's just start with number one. The way that this works... I'm just gonna put on the right elements and stuff. So you go in. And there's gonna be some mobs here. You run to the very end. Now you can do this with most characters. I mean, the things in here are pretty weak. Successful tactics. Enemy is strong. Let's lose it all. So, you run up. Like, these will, like, assemble, um, octopus legs. There's four of them. Apparently we're having some the, the leg. Now here's the tentacle, octopus leg, sorry. You kill the leg, there's, you're gonna have to do this four times in four different places. Now, it doesn't really do anything, it just takes a while to kill him. I'm not sure if you can bomb him. I don't have bombs on this one. So you kill this one. And then there's gonna be some thingy. Ouch, it hurts, need other strategy. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a portal. There we go. A portal will open to the left here, you see? So just keep your mouse over and then you will see where one portal will enter it. Now we're back to where we came from, okay? Now I know the camera's spinning, but remember the numbers, right? That was number one, we've done that already. So let's go to number two. Just rinse and repeat this four times in all the four different tenta tentacles. You don't have to kill the mobs here if you don't want to. I mean, I do it for funsies. There's a... What is this? Octopus henchman, apparently. The music in here is pretty funny. So we kill this. I usually do this on my GX as well. Now, the reason for doing this instance is that it, can, it drops these coin bags that you use to enchant uh, gear in Malangu. So, you know, like the A coin and B coin and C coin and stuff like that. So we just wait for a few seconds, and then there should be a portal that appears somewhere. There we go. There. See? So we go in. We've done two now. Spin the camera back around. We've done one, two. You do, I mean, you can label them any way you like. Just remember which ones you've done. We do number three. Apparently I'm whacking them with my hammer. I know I'm spinning the camera, this is it's one you, you can't go wrong basically once you enter the Okay. Um It's a little bit laggy, but that's okay. Right. This is number three. Give them a lesson. The, the translations on the server is beautiful sometimes. There we go. Just wait for the portal to spawn somewhere. Ah, there it is. Right there. So we have one more to go. Now this is where it gets a little bit meh, okay? Because you need to go into this one and not that one. So we're going to number four, you just sneak to the right here if you can. 
I, I don't know, I think they messed up the portal, like, but this base is supposed to be one in each corner, and then the last one will have the boss. That's the idea, anyway. Oh, it's weird, like, it's weird. I need to get myself an Edgar card for these guys. Okay, so, kill the leg. We've only been here for a couple of minutes, and I've been slacking as well. So you could probably do this instance in under like 5 to 10 minutes. Depending on your level, your gear, how much you like to rush things, I guess. So, we'll get on all the legs, and you go up into the middle. Just make sure you're buffed again. Disgusting, because you won't attack. So, there. Do you want to go... Oh, my, my sorry, no. We're not going out. <laughs> That's my bad. Here, you go into the... yeah. So you, once you've done the thing is, then this will be open at the opposite side. And then you go in there. Sorry, I was just confused for a second there. And there's the disgusting open. Now he does water ball. He actually drops a card as well. As you can see, he nukes me with water ball. He also does some confused stuff. And that's a wrap. He dropped a white potion box, poor coin back. That was it. He can also drop like high weapon boxes as well. Now this only has a three hour cooldown. And when you're done, you can just go out there. Do you want to exit the done? Yes, I would like to. So, um, yeah, that wraps up the octopus um, cave. Got it, sorry. And I know we haven't really... Let's just open the bag. We got SP cans. Well, and white potions. 100 white pots. Well, oh, cool. Um, so, yeah. I hope this helps you. And um, thank you for watching, really. And um, I'll see you in the next...